your favorite wear? Uh, I'd like jeans and t-shirt mostly. Jeans and not a sari? This is beautiful. This is really nice. But it's a lot of hard work. Do you don't think a sari well worn on a good figure? It's the most voracious dress in the world. As a man, I can tell you. Oh, that. wow. So that's your definition of it. Sorry. <laughs> so I was, I was, what I am comfortable is not something that would be so voracious, unfortunately. Yeah, really? <laughs> but well, I in like, the world of glamour, you have no choice, man. I, yeah, no, the most comfortable thing would be a jeans and t-shirt. What apparel do you think embodies beauty the best? A sari. A sari, really. Definitely. So we think alike. No, a sari, definitely. What's your fitness and diet regime? Fitness and diet regime. Nothing very strict on the diet front. Let's pretty flexible but just some few thumb rules as to you know keep your carbs low keep the proteins high basic but I work out I work out about four times a week that's something I'm regular with do you think one has to be skinny to be sexy no not at all I, I no I mean sexy can be skinny but skinny can't always be sexy right. so I don't think it that in that way equates but uh, I think sexual, I mean, it's it's something which is innate, you know, it's in you. Right. You could be, you could you be size 8 or 10 or 12, doesn't right. matter. Yeah. When do you feel sexy? After a workout. Really? Yeah. Not when men look at you? <laughs> and then, you know, you you know you at that, that time, at that time, I'm looking at the ceiling, actually. <laughs> I don't think I'm looking back at anyone. I'm looking at the ceiling. So, no, I, I yeah, for me, I think after a workout, because that's when... You know, your, you, you, you your, feel your, fresh, your, your face is, you know, a, there's a flush right. about it and you feel fit and I think you just feel good about yourself, so. What do you, what do you find the, is the ultimate symbol of sexiness? What is the ultimate symbol? Confidence. You think so? I think so. I think confidence is very sexy, yeah. What kind of men attract you? Confident. Not confident. over, which is, which becomes ugly, but I think just about confident. I think people who have a certain amount of belief about themselves is very attractive. What do you what do you think are the best and worst traits in a man? Best traits in a man, I think, confidence and belief is in very, what? in himself, in oneself. I think that's very important. Not trying to be anyone or be something or someone, and being himself. Yeah, I think that's the best thing. And the worst would be the opposite of it. I think overconfidence, and. Um, yeah, I think when somebody is too pompous and when somebody is trying to be too. Uh, who do you think is the sexiest man in the world and why? Known and unknown. Sexiest man in the world. Now that's really cutting it close. <laughs> <laughs> Very tight. Um, see, I don't know the person, you know, but I think George Clooney, I think, is very... Because he's somebody who comes across as a very, you know, sort so yeah. of amount of confidence about him and he's secure about himself. He does different things. He, he does charity. He does his Wait. own production and different things. Uh, do you think the scent of a man is important? Scent of a man? Uh, you know, I've never been asked these questions before. <laughs> <laughs> I have never been asked these questions. Well, uh, yeah, I, th I think scent of a man is important. It's yes, important. it is. How was your first kiss, both on screen and off screen? Wow. Um, off screen was crap, <laughs> but because it's the first, and uh, on screen was uh, Ram Kapoor. Oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> it was. It was all very worked out, and it was you know, uh, Ruchi Narayan, who's a who's a friend as well, was a director. So we worked it out exactly how much we wanted and what we wanted. Yeah. So you said your first on screen or off screen kiss was crap. But then you learned what makes a good kiss? You're still learning? Well, yeah, I guess. What role does emotion play in your life? Very important. Very, very important. Do you feel you're an emotional person? I would say so. I think I'm far more emotional than practical. Yeah. You're yeah. more emotional than practical? Yeah. I would say Do you so. think it's better to be otherwise? Absolutely. Be more practical than Absolutely. emotional? Absolutely. You don't want to change that crap, that trait of yours? You will never be able to change it? Uh, well, I don't think you can change who you are, essentially. But yeah, of course, you try and you know change I think it every day. Time teaches you. Time teaches you. Yeah. To watch more, subscribe to YouTube.com/slash/etnowlight.